on the plaza. That's where uh, my grandfather first opened the shop. It was right next to the Plaza Cafe. My father had been running the shop for about 35 years. He's actually worked in the shop for 55 years now. I think, I think just being part of the shop is kind of such an integral part of the community. And then you get people who have been coming in the shop for, since they were little kids. They've been like 40 years ago. You got guys that come in here said that they got their first haircut here when they were a little kid. And, and now they're like 60 years old. And, well, actually, I live in Albuquerque now, and I commute. Just kind of, you know, the price of living kind of pushed this out of Santa Fe a bit, but I'm trying to move back in now. I've noticed a lot of um, a lot of people moving from other states and kind of just making Santa Fe like their summer home spot or winter. They just come and spend like part of the year here and a lot of people that have grew up here move out because it is so expensive to live here. I feel like it takes a lot of the cultural people out of here and uh, bringing a lot of people that I mean, of course, love Santa Fe, and they're all about the art and what's going on here, but a lot of people are moving to, like, Rio Rancho, Bernalillo, because the housing is cheaper and all that. It, it's, it's, it's tough, but a lot of my friends that are my age don't live really in Santa Fe. They live outside of Santa Fe or, like I said, going more towards Albuquerque. I have a, a brother and several sisters that couldn't wait to leave after high school. And they wanted to get out of town and they spent 20 years trying to get back, you know, so. I've always worked as many jobs as I needed to just to stay in this town. <laughs> I lived in Albuquerque for a little bit and the bigger city just wasn't, it wasn't for me. I, I love my little town of Santa Fe. I've, I've been here since the 80s, so I've noticed a lot of changes. Uh, all the housing that's been going up in the south end of town. Uh, a lot of the businesses down on this side of town have been changing a lot. Uh, I was a plaza rat throughout most of high school, so I was always down on the plaza hanging out. I think downtown belongs to everybody, though, in this, in this town. It's where most people tend to migrate towards. Nobody's really... Um, you know, living downtown anymore, which I feel like definitely has like a few drawbacks to the local community, the feeling a little unwelcome. It's a new struggle, you know? It's definitely a new struggle. I feel like I've heard a lot of people talk about. I would hope at some point, like the city cares enough too about, you know, the people that created this city, you know? I, like as I owned a business downtown for 10 years and um, I know a lot of people that love this town and um, yeah, you would hope that the city would really care about the people who run it you know like we're the workers and we run the restaurants and the bars and the hair and you know the local stores the local scene you know and it's kind of kind of crappy to think that you know everyone's struggling really hard right now it seems like to keep a roof over their heads <laughs>